everyone, my name is Sharon Snap and welcome to my gameplay walkthrough on Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. This game will be turning 15 years old this year. And let's get this thing on the scene and make a new scene. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed Marco Polo on his deathbed in 1324. Nate has blood all That's my blood. That's disgusting. This is gonna be an official password. Oh no! Uh, a rock in a hard place. Reference to that Simpsons movie scene where Homer got, uh, was on a wrecking ball near the rock in a hard place. There goes that thingy. And the pipe is falling on. Let's climb up this trail. There's the train falling off. The seat falling off the list. And this. And top of the train is gonna fall, and the door swings open. And this kind of reminds me of Mission Impossible. Drake's all bloody. Drake's drinking a cocktail or lunch on this island. Buy me There's a drink, sailor. sailor. Harry There's Flynn? Flynn? There's hey! Harry Flynn. What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking, I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Should I be I flattered, flattered or worried? worried. Maybe, a Maybe a bit of both. Bit of both. <laughs> Come, here. Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client, client is willing, is willing, to, willing part to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. There's, there's the 
Oh, no. no, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. Yeah. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it. And you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Chloe. Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's Chloe one of the best, one of the best drivers, drivers in the business. In the She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We're going through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, I didn't, but go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the that's, it. that's it. An oil, oil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's worthless. worthless. I, don't I don't get it. Neither do we. That's, that's why we why tracked you down. down. Well, it sounds like sounds you're like working you're for a nutcase. Nut hmm. Some, Some collector, collector who's got, who's got too, too much time and money, money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century latte, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it is nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands. I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the 13. Marco Polo uh, hid something inside, inside this lamp. This something, something that pinpoints, pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. You in then? You're in then? What, the what the hell? I mean, what could, what could possibly, possibly go wrong? <laughs> And Drake is asleep. I still don't. This was a very long pass. And there was a tree which is falling from me. Yes, he is. Knock this. Door. 
uh, work at in both sorts of the cards. We're getting here. Did not expect that. That kind of scared You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom, after all. You don't get to be jealous. Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. No. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. Find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. And Drake wakes up. And that's behind him. Four months earlier. You won't need, won't need a, a little insurance, insurance, that's all. Flynn, Flynn they're just they're museum just guards. guards. We have their, we have their patrols, patrols all mapped out. Relax. 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 <laughs> Relax. Relax. <laughs> have you ever been in a Turkish <laughs> prison, prison, right? prison? If we if get we caught, caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. And there they are on the phone. We're here. We're here. And they're breaking the way. This way. This way. Is 
So what do we do if they switch the controls? Figure it out as we go. We cannot bumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you put? Yeah. I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, John. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Let's do this very carefully. Chloe. Chloe. See you on See the other, other side. side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Chapter two, breaking and entering. That's going to do it for this part.